Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen and today we are building a park in Newcrest using only the base game. And this is actually episode 11 of my Building Newcrest series. So if you have missed my previous episodes, I am completely building Newcrest from like residential lots to community lots and I am doing it all using only the base game. So it's going to be a complete base game only save file. If you're interested in seeing more videos or maybe you're interested in downloading the save file once it's available for download, then definitely subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any episodes and then you won't miss my save file once I publish it for you guys. Um, like I was saying, this is a park and also a wedding venue at the same time. So I've had in my mind for a while now that I wanted to do a park, obviously, in this location. Um, that's just the best thing I can think of for this particular lot is just doing like a park. Um, it is called Fern Park, I believe, in the game. And that just, it makes sense. Um, it's like right there be behind those lots, like those houses. And I know some people utilize this lot just to build another house. And that ran through my mind, but there's just something about that lot not being in the same direction or exactly behind those other houses behind it. It's kind of like to the side. You know, like this, the front of the house is to the side. It's just something about the way it's positioned. It just looks weird when I build a house here. So typically if I ever build on this lot, like for my gameplay or something, I always just do a park. And um, I've built a park here before. It was not just the base game though. It's on my gallery. It ended up being like I put a, a basketball court and some like jungle gym equipment and stuff like that and I, maybe a swing set maybe not um, I can't really remember but this one like I said is only the base game and so we don't have like swing sets <laughs> and other like fun things like the basketball court you know there's not very many options when it comes to building only base game especially with community lots uh, building re regular residentials are way easier than community lots. At least for me, I'm not a very good community lot builder. It definitely takes me quite a bit of time to figure out what I want to do. And so that's probably why this is only my second community lot I've done since I've started the save file. Um, I'm, it almost seems like I'm procrastinating, and I think I am. But... I'm glad that I finally did the second one, which is a park, and I had a lot of fun doing it. And so, as you guys can see, it's kind of coming together now. So, we got the pond, then we got the ceremony location, and over here is where the reception area is going to be. Um, it ended up taking up more space than I wanted it to. I had in my mind that this would look like an obvious park, but just have like the wedding art and maybe some chairs but as you can see it ended up just becoming more of a wedding venue your sins can totally still come here and use it as like a park or like maybe have birthday parties here or something but it's it definitely looks like a wedding venue when you look at it <laughs> there's there's no way around that but overall, I am happy with it. I do want to keep it in my save file. And so I love that tree that comes with movie movie night stuff or movie hangout stuff. Um, and it has like those lanterns that hang off of it. And then Outdoor Retreat in the debug catalog, there is also a tree with like white lanterns. And I absolutely love using those trees as decorations in my builds. And so since this is just the base game, I had to kind of think of how to achieve the lantern and the tree look without actually having those trees. 
And so I just pulled out those like regular white lanterns from the catalog in the base game. And I kind of tested it out and put it on the limbs of the tree. And I am actually really happy with the way that that turned out. I think it turned out really cute. And so that's definitely gonna be something that I keep in mind in the future for when I build base game and I wanna have a tree with those cute lanterns. Um, you totally can have those. You just have to do a little bit of extra work and place them one by one and size them down if you need to and then like lift them up and stuff. I, it's tedious, don't get me wrong. I never said it was easy, but it does look good in the end. And um, yeah, so I am now building like the little jungle gym area. It's like, it's half park, half wedding venue. So is it ideal to have a play set right there next to your wedding reception area and then have like someone's house on the other side of that? No, probably not. Nor is it ideal to live behind or buy a wedding venue and then, you know, every weekend and probably some nights during the week, the music is going to be so loud during like five to 10 o'clock. So that wouldn't be ideal to live by it. But luckily this is The Sims and nobody cares. <laughs> Your neighbors do not care if you play music loud into the night, unless you live in an apartment. Then like your Sims will care, but Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think if you live in an actual house, other than for rent and city living, if you live in just a regular house, I don't think your neighbors really complain if your Sims are having loud music, do they? I know in like The Sims 2 and 3, they will shut down parties, but do they do that in The Sims 4? I can't remember. It's been a while since I've played the actual like game. But I am planning on playing the actual like gameplay of The Sims when this new pack comes out. Like the, I don't even remember what it's called. <laughs> I want to say Rendezvous something, but I don't think that's what it is. It's like that, you guys know the new pack that's coming out, the romantic pack and stuff. Um, I seen the trailer, it looks pretty, it looks good. I mean, <laughs> it looks, um. Some parts of the trailer look a little goofy, I'm not gonna lie, but um, I haven't seen much of like anything else, like no gameplay, like not the tra- yeah, there no gameplay trailer, there's no like, I don't think any of the game changes are actually having any content out right now either. Um, I think they just announced it not that long ago, but yeah that's something that will be interesting to play when it comes out so i'll probably actually do like i'll at least play it on my own i don't think i'll do a let's play or anything unless i change my mind i mean it's possible i'm not gonna put it like all the way out of the question but i'm not sure i don't have any like thoughts of doing it or anything i i've come to the realization that let's plays aren't really my thing i think i prefer just playing the game on my own. <laughs> I mean, that might change in the future though. You never know. But um, as of right now, I am really excited to build with that new pack though, and then share all of that with you guys, of course. And maybe I'll like make a family and share that as well. I just really hope that it's like a good pack and it's not disappointing like most of the recent packs have been. And I hate to be like that Debbie Downer, but it is true, I feel like the newer packs have not been all that great. Like it, it looks good in theory, like for rent, but then I've had a lot of problems with like the actual gameplay part of it. And so I just hope like this one is, it actually plays pretty good. And maybe that will help me to actually want to play the game. That's another problem that I have is that I get really bored when I like start a new game. I start like new sims, build a house, and then I start on the gameplay and I get bored like an hour into the gameplay. It's, and I used to never be that way, but maybe it's just the fact that I'm getting older. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, so I am pretty much getting the whole lot put together. So I, I did a lot of this terrain paint 
it's the little pebbly kind and I wanted to do more grass than there is right now but as I was building it I just thought the, the pebble looked really cute and so I ended up doing more pebbles than I thought that I would but it, it does look really cute and there's lots of like flowers and bushy landscaping around and I think it's a really pretty area to actually have your sims get wet, uh, married and I think pictures will look really good here too and then there's the pond right there and I ended up putting like the fishing sign and so your sims are able to fish in that pond and then I got like the tables with the umbrellas over them and I just stuck with white I feel like um, if you guys download this off my gallery or you download my save file once it comes out you could totally redo the colors you can make the colors any colors that you want um, the lanterns are white that's pretty much I think the reason why I ended up going with white but a pink would look good in there too or like a light blue or something um, something else other than white I think would have gone a long way. I think I end up doing like some sort of flower and candle combination on the tables though so it does give it a little bit of color. And I also place those woohoo bushes everywhere. Um, your sims can totally use at least one of those that I've placed throughout the build. I'm not sure exactly which one. I think it's the ones over by the bathroom. Your Sims will definitely be able to use those. And I thought that was a cute little touch. Um, now that I'm thinking about it, your Sims can woohoo in that in the base game, right? I, I sure hope so. If not, then that's kind of lame. But um, I'm pretty sure they can. But I thought that was cute. Like, I don't know. Maybe maybe not. I mean, who wants to have someone woohooing in a bush at their wedding? But it was cute as I was thinking about it as I was building. <laughs> and... Um, now I am taking those bows and I am placing them one by one on all of these chairs and I think it's a detail that was totally worth it. It took some time obviously but I think it turned out really cute and so I'm really happy that I ended up thinking of that idea. This is not the first time that I've done this. When I did that other wedding venue it was um it was that mansion wedding venue I've built in Willow Creek. I posted those videos. It was one of the very first ones that I've posted. So if you wanna check out another wedding venue, this is like a huge ginormous wedding venue. And it's like a huge mansion with a huge outdoor space. And there's like a wedding area inside and there's a wedding area outside. And upstairs there's like a bridal and a groom suite. And for like the wedding parties to get ready and stuff. It, it turned out really good so if you're interested in seeing that then definitely go check that out on one of my other videos of my channel um, just scroll all the way down to the bottom it's not far from there and I don't have many videos so it shouldn't take you too long to find it and that that um, build I actually first thought of the idea of the bows and so I kind of used it here in this build as well and I also used some of that terrain paint that's like flowery and um, I love to line the aisleways with roses or something like that when I use all of the packs but since this is just the base game I don't have that option <laughs> and so I kind of had to get creative I ended up using the terrain paint so I mixed like some of the pebbles and with the flowers so it looks like that's like the aisleway where the bride and the groom and every the whole party walks down and um, I think it turned out really cute this whole wedding venue I think turned out super pretty and it would be so fun to have your sims actually get married here I might just have a fun little small wedding to see what it looks like <laughs> in my game just to yeah just see what it looks like and also by the way you might notice that those lanterns are floating all of a sudden I don't know what exactly happened. Something throughout the build kind of glitched the whole lantern aspect and so I'm gonna have to go back and actually adjust every single one of those which I will be doing shortly here in the video. It, 
I was so upset when I seen that. It, it was such a pain in the butt to place them in the first place. And then I had to go back and place them again. I almost said screw it and just delete them. But I thought they turned out so cute. I am glad that I went back to do it because it was definitely worth it. And then I placed a radio, which of course, yes, that radio will break when it rains. But this is just the base game, so it should never rain. It will if you have seasons. And then you can just move the radio somewhere under the pavilion somewhere. Um, and I am putting the bar here now. I wanted to give some sort of back to the bar. And there is no like bar back that I could put there in the base game. And so I just had to use one of those tables that I used for the him and hers table up there on the little like balcony thing or or porch or deck. I guess you'd call it a deck or a gazebo. It's like the square gazebo. And um, and then this over here I figured would be like the food table. So there's a little grill just in case you forget to cook some food. And then there's the table that you can put like the cake and the food on. So I tried to think of every single aspect of a wedding and put it down here on this lot so that your Sims could have pretty much the wedding of their dreams. I kind of thought that this would be the more affordable wedding venue and I, I may or may not be doing another wedding venue on one of the other lots in like the area by the water, like kind of the nicer area. I'm thinking about doing another wedding venue there, but like a more upscale one, but we will see. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, then definitely leave a like on here so I know that you did. And comment down below what your favorite part of this build is, because I am really curious. And subscribe if you have not already. So with all of that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world. And I will see you in the next video soon. Bye guys. A heart speed. To the city streets, we begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals that take us higher. The night's young, and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine. We wanna chase the night.